What's going on you beautiful people? It's Daniel Kai here. Jack Maynard has left. I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Which is a massive shock to a lot of people because he hasn't got into any fights, he hasn't done anything wrong on the program. Uh, it's all down to some tweets that he posted out. Now, I know that we live in the day and age where you've got to watch what you say on social media because things will get pulled up. But he's been pulled up on a tweet or several tweets that were sent in 2011, okay? He was 16 when he sent those tweets. Yeah, okay, I will say I'm, I'm defending the dude in a way because when I was 16, I used to do some crazy dumb shit. It's almost guaranteed you're gonna do some crazy shit when you're 16. A lot of people are like, oh yeah, but he's a big celebrity, he needs to watch what he's saying. Granted, yes he does, he has a huge influence. He started his YouTube channel in 2015, okay, so there's a four year gap between when the tweets were posted, he sets his account up four years later. His publicist says half the tweets that he posted out have already been deleted and there are one or two that are still up. For his publicist and ITV sat down and stated that they think it's best that Jack leaves the jungle to give him time to defend himself because obviously with them being in the jungle they don't know what's going on on the outside world so it's it's literally got to the point where they're like well look we need to pull him out so that he can address this situation because of his influence because there's a lot of like 88% of his channel are girls and 88% of his channel are influenced by what he's bringing to content on YouTube he hasn't been kicked out of the jungle so a lot of people are saying that he's been kicked out of the jungle his publicist has sat down with ITV and said we think it's best that he leaves so that he can address the whole issue and explain himself. The tweets that were sent six years ago. All right, you're gonna be writing homophobic language and racism like text or tweets at 16. That's a, that's a stupid thing to do. There's no way that you can tell that he's gonna be a huge YouTuber with a massive influence. So he wouldn't think that it's, it's you know, that it's important. And obviously it's the media's job to build people up and also to break them down as well and that's exactly what's happened in this situation the statement read so that there was loads of reports saying oh this isn't real uh, it's just people making bad press for for youtube and all that because it's what they've been going through but uh, the quote that it states, his publicist says, In the last few days, Jack has been subject of a succession of media stories which, given his position as a contestant on I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here, filmed in the Australian jungle, with no contact with the outside world, he has been unable to respond to. Since it is only fair that everyone should be aware of any allegations made against them and should also have the right to defend themselves, it was agreed that it would be better to bring him out of the show. Okay, so it was agreed. So he hasn't been kicked out. It's agreed by the publicist and ITV collectively that he needs to go. What are these tweets in question? I'm not gonna show them up, not to, oh, you're hiding it. Don't need to spread dirty laundry. The tweets did include the N-word and homophobic language. At the same time, it's come to light that Amir Khan in 2011 posted out that used the G word. I don't really want to say that on here just in case other people take it offense. Otherwise they take offense to it. Obviously the N word, there's there's obviously no comparison between the two. Obviously the N word is the worst one. Okay, as PewDiePie found out this year as well. It is understandable why ITV have decided to do that and it's understandable why his publicist have pulled him out. In 2011, six years ago, a lot changes in six years. A lot of people, there's a lot of massive outcry that Jack defends himself and that he then apologizes, explains himself, but people still want him back in the jungle. That I don't see that happening, personally. I don't see I'm a celebrity bringing him back in, not just because of the bad press, but also because that's not really the way that the game or that the, the show works in general. I personally don't think he will be back. I think once these out, which would have been today, I would say that he won't be back in. We don't know as content creators if our channels are gonna be very successful. And we don't know as just normal people whether our day-to-day -day lives are gonna be very successful to the point where you have a lot of following and a lot of influence. But it definitely shows to people that you need to be careful what you tweet out just in case somebody takes it the wrong way. But hopefully this is a, a, a massive wake-up call for the people on YouTube to think, right, well, obviously things that I can't 
take back now. Delete them off Twitter if you know about them, but personally, watching his videos for the past few years, he's not like that. He's not like that at all. Jack, if you're watching this, mate, chin up, dude. It was silly what you did, but obviously you were 16. We all do stupid, dumb sh and we learn from them. And this is just one of those situations. It's gonna be a shame not seeing him on I'm a Celebrity, but at the same time, it's understandable and hopefully this all dies down really quickly because it doesn't need to be like an end gate like the PewDiePie stories were. Hopefully you liked the video, what are your thoughts on the whole situation, write in the comments below. It'd be interesting to hear what you guys think. Hit the subscribe button if you like the video and like the other content and uh, hit the like button and I will see you in the next video. So stand to attention and I will see ya. <laughs>